Hey there boys and girls, like Skillfaker here, and today I have finally the Gunmaster gameplay for you. Um, this time it's on Donya Fortress, so it isn't the first gameplay, so my first game I got uh, where I won the game, uh, which I told you about in a previous commentary, um, because it was just a little bit too long, uh, like I've said, around half an hour or so. Um, I also got a second one, which was uh, a lot better, uh, a lot faster, and I won with like five weapons uh, advantage uh, over the other um, players. But sadly, uh, I don't know it, uh, if it was Fraps or Sony Vegas, but somehow I had these random black screens, uh, which you've seen in two of my previous videos. Um, I don't know uh, where they are coming from. I just hope that this video won't have any black screens. Um, I'm going to check everything and look what I can do about it. So. Yeah, like I've said, this is a Gunmaster gameplay on Donya Fortress. Um, as you can see, I've speed up some of the boring parts because this gameplay was still quite long and a little bit um, hasty in terms of uh, me finishing the game because I finally wanted to get a gameplay uh, without random black screens. And yeah, here it is. So uh, I'm just going to talk a little bit about the game mode itself. So. Um, as you can see down below, um, you will have this little timeline uh, which will show how far you have already progressed. There are 16 weapons in general and the last one will be the knife. So the last kill has to be a knife kill and sadly in this game I have no beautiful uh, backstab knife kill so it's just a random swing and yes, that's a little bit sad. The other ones had batters but random leg screens. Uh. Yeah, so um, so from what I can tell, um, Gunmaster looks really funny, besides um, some weapons uh, which you should probably uh, try to get over with as fast as possible. I also got a combat efficiency ribbon right here, so um, let's start out with the pistol. So the MP MP443 is uh, pretty terrible, at least from my point of view, I would have... Uh, I'd like any pistol uh, to have in the Gunmaster gameplay mode, but not the MP443. It's it's the only pistol I can stand. So um, then the Rafika and the revolver are okay. Um, the next uh, awful weapon would be the MK3A1. Uh, so the shotgun with frag rounds, which is terrible. <laughs> I, it seems like I can hit shit with it. Um, uh, before that you also get this best 12 which is pretty nice but it seems it still seems to be a little bit affected by the suppression effect so the, sh the shots are a little bit off sometime I'm also doing a commentary about this and check out what is going on with suppression just um, to give you guys uh, opinions and also um, the stats and data and how suppression works now um, you've probably all seen my previous video on it because I feel like they haven't um, tuned down suppression a lot. It still feels really present to me. And yeah, um, let's talk a little bit more about the guns. Um, I think the fully autos are pretty much um, all the same, so you'll uh, get uh, over them really quick. And um, besides the light machine guns, so normally I stay a little bit away from this podcast because I can't stand these uh, big ass uh, machine guns and. Yeah, also besi besides those two and the SCAR L, I guess, um, which has a pretty slow fire rate, um, those are one of the easiest ones of the whole Gunmaster gameplay. Um, after those, you will come to the sniper rifles, the M417 and the JNG90, both with an ACOG scope. Um, those are pretty decent too, so you know, I'm normally playing the recon class a lot, so this normally isn't a problem for me. Um, after that you will get, I think you will get this um, little brain launcher, this little nuke tube. And gosh, I hate these things. Uh, these things. Um, uh, they're really terrible, it's basically a grenade, which will be shot out of this little barrel you're holding. And yes, you can't kill enemies through direct impact, the grenade will just bounce off of them. I've tried it a couple of times and yes, this just makes it even harder, but I think I have a pretty nice kill at the end. Um, 
about the JNG90, some told me it has a 75% of getting one-shot hit kills um, in close quarters. So I'm also going to check that, so you will see a video about it soon. And yes, um, I've also heard some people saying that the new Battlefield 3 maps right here, um, in the close quarters maps like Donia Fortress, Operation 9 to 5, um, what's the other one called? Zebra Tower and Scrap Metal. That they're a little bit too cod like, and I know, or you know, you I think you know too, that there is this little war between Call of Duty versus Battlefield. And yeah, they say um, Battlefield start copying and turning into Call of Duty. And I would just tell you to calm down a little bit because it's just one DLC with close quarters map. The next one will be uh, featuring the biggest map in Battlefield history, so uh, no reason to freak out. Um, another thing, um, the Gunmaster mode um, is not from Call of Duty, um, not from Call of Duty Black Ops, it's from Counter-Strike, so um, there's no Call of Duty copy, it's um, basically everything from Counter-Strike, also the tighter maps, I would say. But I, I agree with the fact that um, the, little, the new maps play a little bit more like, um, so like Call of Duty, they have a little bit more like a Call of Duty feeling. I will also do a commentary about quickscoping. Yes, you've heard right, quickscoping. And I also hear the ha uh, I already hear the haters, but... Um, it's just uh, pissing me off a little bit. Um, I'm often into lobbies where people call me QS Fagger, go play MW3, and I'm just uh, going to clear some facts because this is basically from Counter Strike 2. And yes, so stay tuned for that. I hope you enjoyed the video, and like Skull Fagger out.